All right, resuming the game. I've got a walkthrough now to help me out because I'm really bad at these goddamn games. Resume. Well, let me load so I know what the hell I'm loading. You never know these stupid games. You hit resume and who knows what the fuck you're resuming. Yeah, the last one is from 2020. So I'll use this one from 2022. That must be it. Okay. Heading deeper into the woods. We have to make this sort of carrot flame magical spell. I'll use the chalk on this frog. frog. An excellent place for me to draw with the chalk. I will draw the symbol from the flying letter. There. Huh? Squirrel? How cute. It almost seems like they want to tell me something. And now they're gone again. <laughs> Looks like they left something by the mushrooms. Squirrels bark. Let's grab it. How strange. The squirrels left a piece of bark here in the mushroom circle. I'd better take that. Alright. Place the crumbly chalk on the flat rock. Crumbled chalk on rock ledge. An installation by Jerry Hazelnut. Aww. All right. Ugh. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. That's really hard on the arms. Bam! It pulverized the crumbly rock, just like the poem described. Pretty cool. Now I've got fine white chalk powder. Well, it feels good in my hands. Alright. We're going to combine the decayed firecracker with the chalk. Fits. There. I don't know what that was all about, but I did it. Okay. Now I'm going to use that powder mixture with the can. It's in. Good. Alright, hang on, I'm just checking something. Alright, it's telling me to combine shit, but it's doing a bad job telling me exactly what order to combine it in. So let's try this. So the bark, acorns, and carrot. Here's the bark with the acorns. Where's the acorns? Don't I have acorns? Where the fuck are the acorns? Acorns. I guess I'm missing something. Let's find out what I'm missing. There's some acorns somewhere, I guess. I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this a path tree. Anyway. This is now a dead end. I don't remember having to pick up acorns anywhere. Oh, here we go. 
Okay. It's in the crossroads. And there's an acorn tree. Where's the acorn tree? Alright, let me double check what the fuck that said then. In the woods. In the center of the crossroads. Oh, acorns up high. Oh, thanks for describing that properly. Walk through. Use my stick on that. Ha, I could do this in my sleep. Whoa! Look how many I got. <laughs> Not bad. Good boy. Okay. Back to the magical Satan spell. Combine the tree bark, acorns, and carrot, one at a time, in that order, with the can, with the powder mixture. Alright, so bark and acorns. Bark won't be much help here. Okay, so then I'm doing the can. I had to figure out what the hell it was saying. Bark in the can. Also in. Acorns. In the can. Yep. Carrot. In the can. Okay, now everything is in. Oh, good. Back to the crossroads. Circular stone for the crossroads. And then use the matchbook on it. Alright, here we go. Okay, that should do the trick. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Shit lords. Impossible. The trunk came out of nowhere. It's an impossible trunk. And I conjured it up. Yeah! I knew it. Practice makes perfect. Hazelnut is nuts, they said. There's no such thing as magic, they said. They'll all eat their words. Hey, let's check out the trunk. Hmm. It's packed full of equipment for a magic show. It says the great Zaroff on the poster. Is this his stuff? His top hat? Mine now. Whoa, holy cow, what? Again? Man, oh man, magicians really need nerves of steel. Give me it. Whoa, holy cow. Come on, pull yourself together, Jeremy. I bet it's just a pesky raccoon. <laughs> or a magic message. I want that hat. Whoa, holy cow. All right, I'm not reaching in there with my bare hands. Okay. What now? Yeah, poster. The great Zaroff experienced the greatest illusionist of our time, but it doesn't say when and where the show is. How strange. The poster looks pretty old too. I wonder if the trunk here belonged to Zaroff, 
I'll just take one of his posters. Oh, there's a rip in the lining of the trunk lid. Better rip it. Well, a little rip is no big deal. That's easy to repair. Uh oh. Magic wand. Hey, there's a magic wand in the lining. It almost looks like somebody hid it there. Whoa, holy cow. All right, I'm not reaching in there with my bare hands. Okay, well, obviously I should have used the wand on the hat. Top hat and magic wand. All right, Jerry, the time has come. You've been training for this for years. So, Abraca. Goodness. <laughs> All right. Whoa! It, ah, it's been decades since I last drank a carrot flame. Ah, permit me to introduce myself. I am the Marquis, the Marquis de Hoto. Oh, but, but you're a... Uh, you're... you're... Arictogulus cuniculus sapiens, yes indeed. Uh, oh, well, I'm Jeremiah. Jeremiah Hazelnut, the boy with the dream. What? You know my name. I know much more than that. Your summer vacation ends the day after tomorrow. That's right, <laughs> unfortunately. Mathematics, leaky pens, hard wooden benches, dry chalk dust. You human children are so brave, yet you dream of more. The murmur of the leaves in the wind, ah, it reminds me of home. Where's that? My home? It's where I'm remembered. Yes, but where exactly? I can... I can scarcely remember. The fog. What? Jerry. Tell me, what's your greatest dream? Let's see, I practice magic tricks in my free time, but I performed as a magician in school once. Magician isn't a real job, so... Uh, let's see. Do the first one. I practice magic tricks in my free time, but oh, what's the point? I hear you. I want to be a magician. I know, for I am a magician. Beloved, feared, needed, and extremely brilliant. <coughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Will you be my apprentice? Look at what my goodness. What? Absolutely. Travel with me. Beyond the boundaries of the imaginable. Yes, little boy, follow the stranger. Study the five fiery mantras of the Phoenix Conjuration and master every single facet of magic. Well, not all of them, perhaps. This is fantastic, but... But? My mother says I have to be home for dinner. Jerry... Your training will take days, weeks. Oh no, such a long time, of course. Then I probably won't be able to. I like the first one, just oh no. Oh no. True, training in the magical disciplines, the study of the art of arts, all of this takes time. Such a long time, of course. Then I probably won't be able to. I'll do the f such a long time, of course. Such a long time, of course. And even time itself is an object of study for magicians. He who studies time needs time. Then I probably won't be able to. Then I probably won't be able to. But Jerry, listen to me carefully. Forget impossible. For a magician, nothing is impossible. On a day in summer vacation, anything is possible. I promise you that you'll be back in time for dinner. Are you ready to trust me, Jeremiah Hazelnut? I am. You carry a certain coin. What? How, how do you know that? 
It has a very special aura. Where did you get it? I, I don't know exactly. It seems like I've always had it. Something is missing here. A memory? Don't worry, Jerry. Everything which is lost will turn up again. I, I always used to practice my magic tricks with it. Look through the hole in your coin. <laughs> its magic power will grant you a new view of the world. What you'll see is magical iridescence. From now on, the coin will show you what might be helpful in your training. To look through the magic coin and see things that are invisible to the naked eye, open the inventory and click on the coin. You can also press the space bar or the middle mouse button at any time. Oh, that's cool. Magical iridescence? Oh, the coin! All of a sudden it tingles on my skin. Take good care of your coin. My magic will protect you from being forgotten when we leave this world. We're leaving this world? We have no time to lose. After all, you want to be home in time for dinner. You will need this. Yes, I like that hat. Jerry, do you remember what I told you? Uh, nothing is impossible. And soon it will no longer sound like a question when you say it. Wait! Do you know this place, Jerry? Sure, that's the old path tree. I am sure that you have sensed that this is a special place. Special? Magic. It's easy to get lost in places like this. Hey, I'm not a little kid anymore. Even adults can become lost in the woods. Do you sense something? I hear a, a rumbling. Use your coin, Jerry. Oh, okay. Measure coin with hole. Goodness. Oh man, a toad! It's gigantic! The magic of this place allows it to survive here and grow, forgotten by time. But just as with any other power, magic too can be misused, like the power of this portal tree. Then we intervene. We? The magicians, the tree walkers. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, our options are tree walker. I thought I was a magician apprentice, or portal tree. What does that mean? I'm gonna do portal tree first. Portal tree? What does that mean? Portal trees are trees with roots that reach deep into the fabric of reality, so deeply that they exist in more than one place and time, creating magical connections. Holy Some shit. use these connections to move back and forth among the worlds. As do we tree walkers. Tree walker? I thought I was a magician's apprentice. Tree walkers? I thought I was a magician's apprentice. We tree walkers use magic portal trees to travel back and forth between different worlds. Different worlds? Places, times, and possibilities form an almost infinite number of worlds. You will be trained by me in the tradition of the tree walkers and acquire this ancient knowledge of walking between the worlds. Uh, that kind of sounds complicated. Uh, it's quite easy, almost like riding a bicycle. Really? No. At worst, it feels as if you're being ground to a powder between two contradictions. I, I don't understand. None of us do, but you'll learn quickly. How do you use a portal tree? But how do you use a portal tree? This is where magic begins. <laughs> wow! Go through the portal, Jerry. From now on, Casting magic and wandering between worlds will be an important part of your life. Isn't it dangerous? I mean... Hey! Whoa! <laughs> 
someone is entering the clearing. Four. Four nails. I am only a leaf in the eye of the storm. <gasps> we must hurry. We shall ride the wind. As we have always done. Goodness. Next week on Night of the Rabbit. Hey! Whoa! This still looks like the woods we have back at home. Only somehow... Here we are! So, uh, with with a backpack. The farther we go from the portal tree, the more clearly you will come to realize that we have left the world you know far behind us. Only the parallels here at the portal tree suggest a connection, such as this wall. Follow me, Jeremiah Hazelnut. the hell is that about? I promised you magic. Another world. Before you, Jerry, lies Mousewood. Wow! <laughs> Here you will complete your training. But where's the school? And, and all the teachers nice? This world is more magical than yours. Its trees send their roots deep into the earth and create connections like the one we use to get here. This world will be your school and its inhabitants will teach you many things. This place may seem unusual to you, but soon it will be an important part of your life. And then, once your training is complete, you will see the world with the eyes of a tree walker. So follow me, young hazelnut. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I know this must still be overwhelming to you, but I need a moment. Just wait here. I'll be right back. I'm going to announce you to the town council. Uh, all right. Wow. Being this small is really interesting. Who would have thought that mice have towns? Well, hey! What is this? The Marquis went to Northwoods Town Hall, introducing Jerry to the town council. He asked Jerry to wait, so stay a while and talk to some folks. Uh, just checking out this summary here. Yeah, this is the summary of shit what was going on. I guess while we're here we'll save. We zoom. Alright, well, let's see. A horn in the middle of the square. Maybe you can use it to call someone. Is it just me? Or do these statues look happy? Have you seen 
Shadow the Frog by any chance? I've been waiting here for a package from the Super Squirrel Boutique for Smart Squirrels. Super Squirrel Boutique? <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> oh, really? So what's your name? Me? I'm Jerry. Oh, I think Jerry is a very funny name. And I bet you don't make drop-dead stylish accessories. Um, no. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you see? I'll just keep waiting for Plato and my package then. Oh, maybe I should have left town with my cousin Edgar instead of standing here and thinking about how the crows could come back at any time. It just feels creepy, but I've just got to have my package. Well, cry me a river, lady. Uh, missing. Whoever stole my silver spoon, give it back. I need it to dig because my my shovel disappeared. P.S. I want my shovel back too. D.S. Blue juice, tasty and blue, a quality product from the Wood Dwarves. <laughs> I don't see any hours or minutes on it. It looks like the mice's clocks only show you whether it's day or night. Well, I guess that's all you need. Strange-looking squirrel. <laughs> he looks so daring. Like he has a lot of stories to tell. Daring? About and not at all. Don't you see all these maps? What, what? Oh, so you're a map maker. Oh, m -m 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 hardly. I'm a traveler. Is this your first time in Mousewood? Oh, come and see me later at the barrier. Just walk up the ramp to the right of the town gate. All right. Excuse me, but no time. Got to practice. There's a birthday party this evening at the Hares, and I'm prepping to go. Well, hey. Um, hello. Is everything okay? Psst. Is there? Is there someone behind me? I think I'm being haunted by a ghost. I, uh, I, I don't think you are. At least I don't see anybody. I can't see anyone either, but I know someone is there. You find one strange book in the woods, <laughs> can't understand a single word, <coughs> and they stick you with a ghost. Isn't that just typical? I get all the luck. Hmm. So read what's being written in my journal. Can you s Oh. I didn't think of it. I'll use the coin. Oh God. That was terrifying. Now he's gone. I knew it. Oh, lucky me. Oh, how liberating. What did the ghost look like? Mm, well, he had a pebble head and uh, his arms were twigged and leaves. Really? That must have been a wood sprite. I didn't think they were real. You know what? Here, take it. I found it in the woods. Maybe the book belongs to the wood sprite. If you see him, you can give it back to him. Hmm. Uh, I thought it was cursed or something. Hello? <laughs> okay. I'll wait for the marquee. There he is. Ah! There you are! Come, Jerry. I want to introduce you to someone.
Please excuse this sudden trespass, honored owl and squirrel. Ah, Jonathan, this is the rabbit I was just telling you about. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> oh, but, but that's only Dormouse. Those eyes, eyes that have seen countless worlds. Some say he knows no mercy, but my parents said he was one of the first tree walkers. I was not the f- but I knew him. Woohoo! The Marquis de Hoto. I was barely knee high to a grasshopper the last time I saw you. In accordance with the tradition of the tree walkers, I hereby present you my apprentice, Jeremiah Hazelnut. I am here to request support for him, so that he may learn the art of arts in these woods. Ah, magic, of course. I should have guessed that right away. So this nestling is a new magician's apprentice. And we thought the tradition of the tree walkers had been lost. Ooh. What? Magician's apprentice? Please hold your horse flies for a moment, Jonathan. Certainly not. Tradition demands that we immediately prepare the treetop festival. A new tree walker must be celebrated properly. According to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. Nestling, before your training begins, you must send out invitations and order the blue juice and baked goods for the festival. Precisely. You should speak to Anya Mouse. She is the very best baker here in Mousewood. I shall wait for you here, Jerry. I'm interested in what's happened here. Mousewood has changed. Does that mean I'm supposed to run around out there all by myself? <laughs> I trust that you can take care of yourself. It's still summer vacation. This is your adventure, Jerry. Do you think you could do it? <laughs> Absolutely. Such a good attitude. Oh, stop! But don't step on the books. Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I'm doing. But Conrad's niece, Ursula, keeps mixing them up again. Huh? What does that say? Marquis sure knows what to do now. Before Jerry's training can begin, he has to deliver invitations for the Treetop Festival. I gotta talk to Anya in the tree trunk, tree trunk coffee shop. Uh, and I need to order blue juice. So pretty much busy work, of course. What the hell is this? I always tell people the crows cause the mess, and Ursula makes sure that it stays that way. <laughs> I always tell people the crows cause the mess. <laughs> Critique of Impractical Reason by uh, Emmanuel Katz. Natural History by Hildegard of Beehive. How about sorting the books by topic? Brainy stuff here, nature stuff there. Th that is exactly what I am doing. Here are those with a red cover, and over there is where those with green covers will go. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? But, but of course. Then you can find the red books immediately when you look for them. I mean, no one ever reads the green ones anyway. Weird stuff, that is. In Literaria, they didn't have green books at all. Oh, Jonathan, you've never even been there. Of course I have. <laughs> but uh, naturally, it was during a <clears throat> reading tour. <laughs> As you can see, young man, Jonathan's sorting skills are just as dreadful as his sense of humor. I know, what the fuck is so funny? A little laugh now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to this owl. May I bother you for a second? No, I'm working. What are you working on? Brain work. That means he's staring into space. <laughs> I am thinking and planning. What is there to plan? We must replenish our stores. 
A crow must have feasted in here during the evacuation. For months, our beautiful mousewood has been subjected to aggressive crow attacks. Those crows are feral, almost incapable of speaking. Ooh, a very unsettling situation. Huh. What does the rabbit have to say? Okay, what exactly am I supposed to do? Treetop Festival, I thought I was going to be a magician. What was that about tree walkers and the portals? I'll get back to work then. Let's do the Treetop Festival question. Treetop Festival? I thought I was going to be a magician. Your magical training will begin after the preparations for the festival. You have so much still ahead of you. <laughs> I envy you, but there isn't much time. So hurry, Jerry Hazelnut. Whole worlds are waiting to be discovered by you. So many spells waiting to be learned. I think you're overselling it. What exactly am I supposed to do now? According <coughs> to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. Nestling, before your training begins, you must send out invitations and order the blue juice and baked goods for the festival. That is the tradition. You should speak to Anya Mouse. She is the very best baker here in Mousewood. What is the treetop festival? Uh, Mr. Squirrel, honored guests, please settle down. The treetop festival oh, is going to take place one month from now. No, no. The treetop festival is traditionally held for every new tree walker apprentice once he has completed his training. So it was in the past, and so it is today. Oh, whew. Perhaps it really has been too long since I was here. What is that? Oh, that is magic. And an invitation to the treetop festival from your city archives that's over 90 years old. You see, Conrad? Oh, Jerry, take this invitation. Also, this magic postage stamp. Uh, what's it for? You'll find out once you place it on an envelope. But only stick it to an envelope once it has the invitation inside, and send invitations to everyone in Mousewood. Because once you've completed your training, the treetop festival will be held. You should talk to Plato, our male frog. He can deliver the invitations for you. If you need help, ask the people of Mousewood. If you get really stuck, Use this first minor spell. If good advice is hard to come by, open the inventory and click on the advice seeker spell on the right edge of the magic wand. How does it work? With the advice seeker, you can enter into contact with me through your thoughts, and I will give you a hint that you will hopefully find helpful. With this spell and your magic coin, be confident that you can face any challenge awaiting you. I'll wait here for you, Jerry. Uh, about my preparation for the Treetop Festival again, so that'll just repeat that. Treetop Festival, that'll repeat that. Uh, I guess I can try this. What was that about the tree walkers and the portals? We tree walkers use magic portal trees to travel back and forth between different worlds. Fairy tales. A tree walker is a magician who walks between worlds through the portal trees. Mere legends and myths. That is so funny with that little owl. Not at to all. The left. Portal trees are trees with roots that reach deep into the fabric of reality, so deeply that they exist in more than one place and time, creating right. magical connections. We Some use these connections to move back and forth among the worlds. Okay. As do we tree walkers. Gotcha. Exactly. To help the helpless. <laughs> and the myth comes to life once again. Places, times, and possibilities form an almost infinite number of worlds. You will be trained by me in the tradition of the tree walkers and acquire this ancient knowledge of walking between the worlds. All right, all right. Settle down. I'll get back to work. I'll get back to work then. Good luck. All right, let's save it. Come on. Save. 
All right, uh, that's it for this video. I guess join me next time. Thanks for tuning in.